Welcome back to the wonderful and peaceful lands of Equestria. At least we are at peace and we are Equestria. A friendly pony by the name of Sir. I hope I speak your name right. Arun? 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 I don't know. Told me. First, Pilly is a child pony, so the more you know, now I've learned the thing. And also, take a look at my officer corpse, and I did. And I fell from my chair, and now I'm quite hurt. This is absolutely dreadful, and I'm packing a lot of army experience from some events that I should use to, you know, get rid of all those horrible, horrible step in ponies, as well as since my command power has updated, I also have to go through all my ponies down here and give them new traits and maybe enter an into the high command. And always use some more. First, traditionalism. I like to go with meticulous preparation because planning and especially logistics, since I tend to build heavily on the tank side, always good. So, let's go with this one. What do we have here? Unfamiliarity with tanks. What the heck's a tank? What should I do with my hoop? What do we got? Army experience. Army experience, command power, land doctrine cost. Building horse, proper horse companies in these specials. That's nice. Railway gun bombardment. I never built a single railway gun up until now. Could be nice. No, entrenchment speed also useful since we will probably be on the back foot for a while. Planning speed, commandability cost, tip of the spear. Supply Grace, Paratroop Grace, Naval Invasion, Marine Landing, Mountaineer Unit Design codes. That's actually quite excellent. Those two seem really good, although I don't think right now I have much use for those since I am more on the defensive. That's why I'll go Entrenchment Speed. Static Warfare, Entrenchment Speed, Max Entrenchment... Elastic defense, overwhelming fire, organization. That's quite nice. Delay prefer tactics, training time, supply consumption, that's always good. The less supplies consume, the better mass charge. Trenches are scary, they are. They are horrifying. And I'm out of army experience. Once again, I start swallowing my tongue. Didn't take me long now, did it? Alright. Also, I singled out my five premium infantries. Two Pegasus, two light tanks, and just one run-of-the-mill hoof company. And I will send them as volunteer forces towards... Well, towards them. Because we can. The well tension is high enough. They are our friends, they are not directly our allies. Maybe in the course of time we will be able to move against the horrible Baltimore socialists who executed their mayor because he was, you know, thought healthy festivals, which I still think we should do. So send volunteers back. Ponies at the ready. Do I at the moment I need someone Magic that makes us strong? Ooh, you'd be perfect. You got a lot of supply skill. Alright, fast clip. Do our part. You will help out. Why can't I see you? There you are. I guess this will take some time until he arrives, but that should be alright. Give me a quick look. I could get new generals just by this event. So once we are done examining the situation, I'm gonna call for a new general. There's gotta be a pony who can lead the charge. With all that yammering out of the way. This video probably will also be late because I am currently in a small war with OBS. Must be Since for some reason, it don't like me. It tends to add a 
4.1 seconds delay between the video and the audio file, and I just don't know strong. why. You are three unassigned ponies, and well, there's some space in red, so have fun with your new friends. Maybe we should add a few more. Just to, just to fill it out, because I'm pretty sure the changelings are massing. I, as another also edition, queued up a supply depot up here for our friends in the Crystal Empire and gave them a supply route that leads from the east to the west, so it doesn't get easily cut up. Sadly, I can't build land forts for them, but I can help with their infrastructure, which is nice. Let's see how things are going. How long does it take you? Six more days. Something went and lost its war. Another war began. Lots of stuff. Oh, the blossom of peace is wilting. Which base is in very low supply? Really? That's Canterlot. Can't tell me Canterlot's out of supply. Be reasonable. Well, that one is probably true. But as long as no That's one suffers cool. attrition. Nope. That has to do. I don't see any supply attrition. Uh, supply and we're getting forced to demobilize even more, so now we have to go down to partial mobilization. Can't be helped. Magic makes it strong. But now that our good supply master, what can you do? You can become a entrenchment specialist. With skill level 4, you give us 8% entrenchment speed. Yeah, I don't know if I can. I think you're the only one I got, and that stops it from blinking. Did snow or rain oh, stop sorry. us? Send volunteers. Send. They will allow volunteer forces in there with our troops are on their way to join the struggle. Let's see if we can control them ourselves or if they were just being controlled by them. Either way it it should help. The Dragon Badlands are taken over once more. And Baltimore is big is getting even bigger. And here we have the amicable treaty. The tentative offer of friendship between the ponies of the south and the north has entered a new stage. A second delegation from the states returned to Canterlot with a proposal they called the amicable treaty. Signed by the representatives, governors and mayors of every major city, this treaty expresses a wish to live in peace with their fellow ponies but also doubles down on their firm conviction that history has taken its course, that South is separate from Equestria and must seek its future as its own nation. That nation would like to be friends, maybe even close allies, but never again will Southerners be part of Equestria. The name is chosen out of nervousness by its writers, for they know this will not be received gladly even by friendly Northerners. But it will be received friendly by me because even more separatism and civil war is nothing that Twilight Sparkles I was was his ape. No, that something Celestia doesn't want to see. Well, I'm pretty sure Twilight isn't all too happy about it either. The Northerners and us are friends again. Now we gotta guarantee them. How's my unit looking? Five divisions have arrived, Our lands must and be we preserved. can still control them. Great. 
Now supply looking in. Oh, good grief. It looks very, very bad. All right. You go spearhead over there. Move it. And it goes on and on and on. The dotted line report. Well, we heard this one again. But it was after this one report actually was written. So, yay. A disturbing report has recently landed on the desk of Princess Celestia. Commissioned by the small bureaucracy, it has painted a grim picture of what would happen were Equestria to find herself attacked by any enemies from beyond her borders. The first part of the report is focused on Stalingrad. While they have not been particularly keen on jumping across the border, whatever the rhetoric coming out of the Palace of Soviet says, were it to happen, the Royal Guard with its less than 10,000 soldiers in the area would find itself swept away by the Red Army, which, the report reckons, would get as far as Albion and Transylvania before moving to threaten Manhattan. Speaking of the Royal Guard, the report condemns the large cuts made to the Royal Guard over the recent years, blaming them for the near defeat at Canterlot losing very unparliamentary language to describe the state of the guard, recommending an immediate five-fold increase in budget. Lastly, the biggest and grimmest part of the report, the changelings. Information is of course rare about them, and as such the report makes it clear it's working of hearsay. But this is the most damning part of it all. The report states that if a full changeling invasion was to occur, Equestria would surely fall within two years of such an invasion, unless radical and controversial measures were taken, including overhauling the whole state to mobilize all resources. In addition to military matters, the report warns about the lack of innovation and economic development in recent years which has allowed other nations, such as the Changeling Lands, to catch up. It proposes large-scale industrial projects and education reforms to maintain Equestria's position as the most developed country in the world. Despite the dire warnings made in this report regarding the risk of, uh, no, sorry. Regarding the risk of invasion, only the industrial and scientific parts of the report have been publicly stated to be put into effect. In private, however, Princess Celestia knows something must be done. This is a wake-up call long after it was needed. And before I act on it, I said I need some more generals and that's what we do. And we can have another operative. Ooh, you're a good one. And you look kind of funny. Yeah, I don't really need that either. I need myself a spy pony. And you can spy on... Stalingrad. We need him to be on our side. If, if, Ponies, at the ready. If needs be, another three are done. And you can join... The prince. Let's Ponies, see. We got command of our red troops. They are not yet moving out. Why? Moving out. Move out. Fast deployment. I know it's bad, that's why I sent you. You got the supplies to move towards the harbor. You will bring peace, prosperity and new generals. Ekrasio was always a peaceful nation, but current circumstances required us to bring new generals into the fold. Our armies won't lead themselves after all. Some of the candidates have questionable backgrounds, but none can deny their talents. New commanders will be unlocked, so let's take Ponies, a look at Equestria, what we have to assign. We got nothing so far. Will it be a decision? Mm, no. 
There are no resting regions. There is. We don't own Van Hoover, so we will probably never ever be able to build this. Well, just let me have a look. Alright, it's focus time. I have built my own defenses against those nasty, nasty changelings, so I think I can afford to go down the research route because superior weapons win wars. That's how it's been and that's how it will be. How's it going? Do we actually manage to do something? There are our new generals. While we may believe in peace, friendship and harmony, we must recognize that we can't ignore our military. Our ideals must be fought for. Indeed, if we want to live peacefully, we must be ready to defend that peace. The dotted line report made that very clear to us. But in this world, our current officer corps is not sufficient. If we find ourselves in a situation where we need to fight for our ideals, the fight for harmony, we must be ready to meet the challenge. While we may have ponies like Prince Blueblood or our rising star, Soaring, we must expand. While it may have been a strange measure, several of the elements of Harmony, their friends and several other ponies have been reckoned to be prospective general officers and stand ready to serve their homeland in this time of need. Let us hope they can cooperate and good grief, we got everyone. We got everyone who's a name and everyone I don't know because I only know the very, very old My Little Pony. This My Little Pony series I have never ever watched. Oh, a heretic making pony videos. Ah, that's what you get. Division speed, reinforcement, artillery leader. Ooh, you do nice, reckless. Well, you get wounded a lot, but can't have everything. Mord pie, thunderbolt. What do you get? Defensive, Fortbuster. a ranger, applejack. Yeah, we can pretty much pick and choose. Oh, 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 honey, you're gonna, you're gonna stay right where you are. And you all, well, we'll find find something to do for you. Let's get me some defensive ones. There we go, an infantry leader with ambusher. That's what we need. You, my friend, are holding the borders of Equestria towards the nasty, nasty changelings. Look at them, just waiting to come across. But we have an almost completely two-pony strong defensive line. And as long as they don't smash through Van Hoover, which would be pretty bad for us. And probably something they are planning, since they have an entire battalion just down on Van Hoover. We should probably do something about this. So, first things first. Sadly, I need a supply depot just beyond this. Just <laughs> Although, if they call us to war, we... To get this supply depot. The problem is I have nothing here that gives me supply and it takes ages to build a supply depot but I kind of have to if I want to defend the this flank. Uh, maybe I get something from other sources. Let's hope this war goes on. I sadly can't build any type of supply down here, otherwise I would have done so. I'd have given you all the... Oh wait, this island belongs to me. Can I? I can! So I could build a supply... No, I, I need a naval base here. That's what I need. And I need you pronto. How long does it take? October the 2nd? You know, build me too. Give me some supplies there. And then we can help this one out. I still hope that my elite forces can push on through, but who knows. Expansion of the School of Gifted Unicorns. 
It tended to be the past that only those who could pull favors or had a lot of connections or were just plain lucky could attend the school for gifted unicorns. But no more is that the case. The cash injecting that had been performed by the crown had been immensely helpful in broadening the appeal and fields of the school for gifted unicorns. Having moved most of the facilities from the older historical, if cramped quarters in the core of Candelot to a more modernized place in the outskirts of Candelot, the new sprawling campus will be able to more adequately handle the many breakthroughs and inventions that are being pumped out by Equestria scientific community. Many of the new students and faculty have, have been some of Griffonia's brightest that have fled the political turmoil in Wingbardi and some parts of the Empire for more fertile lands. They have certainly found them here in Equestria. And I have found, I sadly clicked one event to the side before I could read it out loud. So I'm sorry about this. The southern states sent us 2k infantry equipment. And my special team is almost done with a breakthrough to Marion land. The additional supply lines... Oh! Oh no, we, we, we built this connection to the port. Should alleviate the stress here a, a, a little bit. Not much, but a bit. And if we get the supply hub, we can cut them off and those troops will fall. However, the Baltimore Republic also strives for the heart of the Aslan Free State. But the more we can help the Free States, the better it will be for all pony kind. And those fruits of our labors will be something we see next time here on Terraria Sea. Wait, what? Nope. Oh, just stay safe and bye-bye.